Today we'll be evaluating algebraic expressions. These are just order of operations problems. You remember your order of operations. First parentheses, then exponents, multiplication and division, and finally any addition and subtraction. Here's a sample problem that we'll look at. First, we use substitution to replace any variables in the problem, any letters that we see in the problem. For example, in this problem we have x plus 12. We're going to replace this x with the value they've given us, 3. We recopy the problem as 3 plus 12 and then simply solve it. The answer here is, is going to be 15. Sometimes the problem may look a little more complicated, but we use the same idea of substitution, replacing any letters, any variables, and then we use our order of operations to solve the problem. For example, let's look at a couple of problems. When x equals 10, y equals 4, and z equals 3. First let's solve 4x minus 5y. Remember that when you see a number attached directly to a letter or a variable, this tells us that we need to multiply. So when I rewrite this problem, substituting numbers for all the variables, I will see 4 times 10 minus 5 times 4. Now using our order of operations, we take care of the multiplication first. We end up with 40 minus 20, and then we do the subtraction, and our final answer is 20. Let's look at one more example. Let's recopy this, replacing all the letters, and then use our order of operations. So remember our strategy here. First we substitute, get rid of any letters in the entire problem, recopy the problem, and then we solve it using the order of operations that you already know.